In this video, I'll show you how to install Plank Dock on Linux Mint and make your desktop look even better. Before we get started, I'd suggest moving the bottom panel to the top. It's super easy. Just right-click on the panel, click Move, and then place it at the top of your screen. We're doing this because Plank automatically sets itself at the bottom, and it might overlap with the system panel if we don't move it. All right, now let's install Plank. Open your terminal and type sudo apt update. Once that's done, run sudo apt install plank. Hit Y when it asks for confirmation, and the installation will be done in just a few seconds. Once it's installed, go to your application menu, search for plank, and open it. You'll see the dock appear at the bottom of your screen. It's that simple. Now, let's clean things up by removing the system dock panel. Right-click on the panel, enable edit mode, then right-click on this applet and remove it. There will be a gap where the dock panel was, so you can add widgets or applets to fill it up. I'm adding a clock here, but feel free to add whatever suits you. Now that we've removed the dock panel, it's time to reduce the panel height. Just open Panel Settings and adjust the height however you like. You can even play around with the icon sizes for each section to make it look just right. After adjusting the panel settings, let's move on to customizing the Plank dock. Open your terminal and type Plank dash dash preferences and hit Enter. Now, you'll see this window for customizing your Plank dock. It gives you a few theme options, like the transparent one, the matte style theme, and the default GTK Plus theme. You can also change the dock's position to left, right, or bottom. Then there's the icon zoom option, this adds a zoom animation when you hover over the icons, kind of like Mac OS. You can even adjust how much the icons zoom when you hover over them. In the Behavior section, you'll find options for when to hide the dock. By default, it's set to IntelliHide, which hides the dock when a window is maximized or hovers over the dock area. If you want the dock to always stay visible, just turn off the Hide Dock option. Next, I'm going to change the theme to transparent, because that's the one I like. You can explore the rest of the settings on your own. Now, let's see how to add your favorite apps to the Plank Dock. Unfortunately, you can't just drag and drop icons to add them. Instead, open the app you want to add, right-click on its icon in the dock, and select Keep in Dock. Now, we've got the transparent dock, but the top panel still has a solid background, which doesn't really match. Here's how you can make the panel transparent. Search for extensions in the application menu and open it. Head over to the Download section and look for the Transparent Panels extension. Download it, then go back to the Manage section, select the extension, and click the plus button to enable it. Now we've got the transparent panel, and it automatically switches to a solid background when you maximize a window. When no windows are maximized, it stays transparent. To make Plank Dock run automatically after restarting your system, open System Settings and find Startup Applications. Click the plus button and select Choose Application. Find Plank in the application list and add it. Now, Plank will automatically start every time you reboot, so you won't need to launch it manually anymore. That's it for this video. Now your Plank dock is all set to launch automatically and your desktop looks clean and sleek. If this video helped you out, drop a like and feel free to share your feedback in the comments.